Welcome to the Elgin Roman Catholic Family of Parishes Lenten Prayer Service. Let us begin with our service for the third Sunday of Lent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who is fasting, prayer, and almsgiving, have shown us a remedy for sin. Look graciously on this confession of our loneliness, that we, who are bowed down by our conscience, may always be lifted up by your mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to a Samaritan city called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired out by his journey, was sitting by the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it was who was saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have no bucket, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well, and with his children and his flocks drank from it? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again, but the one who drinks of the water that I will give will never be thirsty. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. And the woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may never be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. Sir, I see you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain. But you say that the place where people must worship is in Jerusalem. And Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know. For salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming, it is not here, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father seeks such of these in worship with him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will proclaim all things to us. And Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. Many Samaritans from that city believed in Jesus because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything that I have ever done. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, It is no longer because of what you have said that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is truly the Savior of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. During the summer, if you live in a house, your grass needs to get cut. What happens on a really hot week when you need to cut the grass? You try to go out earlier in the morning before the sun gets up so that it's not too hot. But if you are unable to cut the grass early, then you will have to do it in the middle of the day, which you only do if you absolutely have to. And if it's a very big area, you need to take breaks. It takes much longer to do. The Gospel begins with Jesus showing that he truly is human, as he is tired from the walk and thirsty from being out in the sun. Now when we finish cutting the grass, we go inside and have a drink to quench our thirst. 
we have many options. The one that truly quenches our thirst is a nice big glass of water. Some people will have a sports drink or a cold pop or a beer. All of these will somewhat do the job, but they are not as healthy as a nice pure glass of water. The other items, if you drink too much of them, will lead to other problems in your life. We are told that Jesus is living water, that he is pure and will satisfy our thirst for what is good in the world. In our lives, too, often we accept the easy things in our faith and just ignore the items that would be too hard to follow or things that would force us to make changes in our own life. We settle for the less pure drink and hope that the problems associated with them will just pass us by. As Catholics, we are called and have accepted through our baptism to follow the commandments that God has given us. He does not want us to follow them for his sake, but God knows that for us to be the best person we can be and to have the best possible school and the best parish possible and the best community possible is for us to follow all the commandments, not just the easy ones. God also knows that through following the commandments, we will grow closer to him and develop a wonderful friendship where he will always be there to help us get through the weeds that get in our way as challenges or temptations, be able to enjoy that refreshing living water that will lead us to eternal life with him. I encourage you this Lent to look at the things that you really struggle with and to spend some time with God, asking him to help you do a better job in that area so that when Easter arrives, you will be able to encounter Jesus as a woman did in the gospel and allow that encounter to change your life and to desire to become even closer to God. God gives us the living water, our true salvation. Let us pray to the Father for all who thirst for his divine life. That our Catholic schools may show the love of God in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that our Catholic schools may be blessed with courage and energy to continue to live out their invaluable role in our society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Catholic schools may be inspired by the example of the many great saints who have gone before them and who intercede for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Catholic schools may nurture the growth of wisdom and virtue in the young. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we place these petitions before our Lord, let us say the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those, those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Direct, O Lord, we pray, the hearts of your faithful, and in your kindness grant your servants this grace, that abiding in the love of you and their neighbor, they may fulfill the whole of your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and your families in the name of the Father, Father and, and of the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Suited as teachers, go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.